What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazer Fitness. The project involved Hadi Chopin decided to release another part of the posing video that we saw yesterday, which was mostly from his back, the back double bicep, the back lat spread. And this time he showcased two of his extremely dominant shots. So the reigning Mr. Olympia Derek Linsford has one of the best front double biceps in the bodybuilding right now. But Hadi was able to beat him in the front lat spread. In fact, I have to say all of the top five guys were beating him in the front lat spread shot. Now coming back to Hadi. As great as his conditioning looks here at 4 weeks out of the show, it still isn't close to what he looked like a week before this past Mr. Olympia. Now for a comparison, we can have both these videos together and you guys can see how the fibers on his chest were dancing all around before the Olympia compared to now. But on the other hand, we still have 4 more weeks to go and that's plenty of time to fine tune things. On the other hand, let's just not deny the fact that Hadi is looking the most hardest and driest among all the guys who are going to be competing here at this upcoming Arnold. So is Hadi planning on coming in bigger this time? Well, his quads are certainly looking the biggest they have ever looked. And more size wasn't the feedback that these guys got from the judges. But maybe both Hadi Wimpot and Hadi have different plan of action here. Now, let's just hope that Hadi makes it to the US in time. Marcelo aka Horsemdi from Brazil is up next with his favorite most muscular shot for weeks out of this year's Arnold, which is also gonna be his first ever Arnold. Not to mention his first big show. So as you guys know that Horsemdi has done only one pro show after turning pro, but he just immediately became a star because he was really damn impressive. If I'm not mistaken, Nathan Diecha was the guy who had the most IV pro wins as an active IV pro in that lineup. And yes, even though Nathan Diecha wasn't at his best at that show, but still beating a guy like Nathan at your pro debut, that just immediately made him an Olympia level athlete. And we all just knew that this guy belongs on the Olympia stage. So Horsamdi is quite a famous guy in Brazil. So he must be feeling some pressure here going into his first ever Arnold, which is the second biggest show in bodybuilding. But he is dieting very hard, following Milos' plan to the dot and hoping to get at least top 4 placing here. So we are most probably gonna see him at the Arnold Plus like South America in Brazil as well. And there he might have a more realistic chance of qualifying for the Olympia because we will get to see how he compares with his countryman Rafael Brandao here at the Arnold Plus like Ohio. Charles Griffin is doing all the things that are necessary that he fully recovers from that packed year and he is able to train his chest the way he wants to going into the 2024 season. So Charles is such a complete bodybuilder from every angle. Structurally, he isn't a big guy, he isn't a wide guy. And that is exactly what hurts him the most on a big stage like the Olympia or the Arnold where the lineups are very deep. But still being able to place top 10 at the Olympia when he had to go to a packed year, which was visible on the stage. That is incredible achievement. So that is the weakness that Charles needs to overcome for 2024. It's not really an exaggeration saying that Charles was one of the most ripped guy on the Olympia stage and there lies his true strength. Being able to come and shred it to the bone exposing the lack of conditioning in guys who are genetically so superior to him. And that is why he was able to crack top 10. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.